Hey, John Strohmeyer with Strohmeyer Law, where we help our clients leave no unfinished business. Now, today we're going to be answering questions about various taxes. If we don't address this, then what we could do is actually set up a situation where we're leaving more avoidable costs to our loved ones. That's one of the four horsemen of the estate planning apocalypse we really want to address. What are the steps for filing a decedent's estate income tax return? What if I can't find their in, uh, their tax forms? So this comes up a lot. Once somebody has passed away, we still need to tell the IRS you know, what happened for income tax purposes. There are kind of two things to think about here. One, the year that somebody dies, you will need to file their final year income tax return. So if somebody you know made it, obviously not all the way to December 31 of a year, you're going to have to file a partial year final income tax return. So if somebody died June 30th, you're just going to have income from January 31 until June 30th, the day they died. The thing to remember, you're not going to be able to file that final year income tax return until the following year. So if somebody dies on June 30th, 2023, the earliest you can file their final year 2023 income tax return is going to be January 1, 2024. Why? Yes, I know it's obvious. This person won't have any more taxable income after June 30th, but the filing uh, period doesn't open until January 1. So you've got to wait until the forms come out for 2023. You've got to wait to get everything in line. You know, Obviously, you're not going to have any more income, but you do need to make sure that you've pulled everything together. It does give you some extra head start time to get ready. The other thing in this question, the decedent's estate income tax return. Now, the income received bef June 30th or before, that will go on the final income tax return for the person, a 1040. But if you have income that comes in July 31 or later, or July 1st or later, not July 31st, that income belongs to the decedent's estate. So the executor, the administrator, whoever's taking over, if there's an estate that's being administered, then that fiduciary is going to be responsible for the income that is generated and held within the estate. If that income gets distributed out to a beneficiary, then likely that income is going to get picked up by the beneficiary and they'll pay income tax on it. So then the executor or administrator of the estate is going to use IRS form 1041, not 1040, to file the income tax return for the estate. Here's the last part of the question. What if you can't find their tax returns? This is why it's so important to make sure that we know where things are. If you have a CPA, if you use somebody to help you with your tax returns, make sure they, that your loved ones know how to get in touch with that person. Having that backup, being able to go to that tax preparer and say, look, you know, mom or dad has passed away. Can you help us with their final year tax returns? That prior preparer is the first best person to help you with it. If they've been using H&R Block, you know, TurboTax, one of the other you know, self-help DIY solutions, again, being able to go back to that person, just knowing, you know, going back to that service to say, see the prior year returns, there will be a lot of information in those prior returns that will help you figure out what needs to be done, what income you should be looking for. So uh, what are the steps? You know, one, you're going to want to figure out what the income is. You're going to want to know what is subject to income tax. And then finally, if there's a prior year return or uh, preparer that you can reach out to and get help for, they're going to be the best person. Otherwise, taking that work to your own preparer to help you get that work done. This is something, you know, could you prepare somebody else's return as the sole beneficiary? You can. But if you're cleaning up someone else's estate, kind of tidying up their loose ends, it's a great chance to have somebody else do that work for you. It's hard enough going through the through the uh, work of you know tidying up that unfinished business. Having somebody else do the tax returns for you when you're cleaning up those final items, it's just going to make your life a lot easier. Now, remember, while I am a lawyer, I am not your lawyer. So 
Don't take the advice of some talking head on the internet. Make sure you talk to your own legal counsel about your specific circumstances. We're only dealing with generic advice right now. Also want to mention my firm offers a free five-day estate planning starter kit so you can start the process of planning your own estate with a quick set of daily email challenges that'll help get you in the right frame of mind to identify the questions you really need to be answering. You'll be spending about five to 10 minutes every day for five days answering these questions and putting you on the road to leaving no unfinished business. The link to start this five-day challenge is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got other questions about this, go ahead and leave a question in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.